All right, we're about to head to class. Last first day of school. Pick up your phone, I need your attention. My girl so bad, we call her detention. I am so glad we moved beyond friendship. I am so glad your mama liked me. Still drinking the coffee, have my mask ready to go because masks are required indoors here, which honestly is gonna like help a lot with like, there's like a plague that goes around the first week of school. So this is gonna help emit that. I'm wearing just the plain white tank top from Ritzia. And then my shorts are Lululemon run something. Not really sure. I'm gonna head over to my first class. I have kind of a long walk, so we're gonna go. This is just so crazy. I didn't even know like what to pack in my bag, but I brought like a notebook, laptop planner, the basics. I survived. I'm it literally so dramatic. I had a nutrition class and the professor was really cool and I think it's going to be a really interesting class and it seems like it's actually pretty much like all um, upper class women that have to finish a health and wellness credit. I ended up moving around the furniture in my room and I'm very very happy with how it came out. Um, I used to have my bed turned and whatnot and I just felt like it was very weird to not have a head. It's a very tiny room but it's very cozy. I really like the way that it feels. Today was like my big first day of school in a way because um, I had the other half of my classes today. I have five classes on Tuesday and Thursday and then one on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, which is just really, really interesting. But yeah, I had all my classes today. So I've now met all my professors and like all classes and Guys, can we just be real? This is literally like an out-of-body experience. Like being on campus, seeing everyone, being in class. There were so many moments when I just like looked around the classroom and I was like, I am just, I'm so thankful to be in this class right now. Like, I think I just took school for granted for, you, you know, forever. I've also been meeting a lot of you guys, which like if you see me on campus, please say hi and let's be friends. Since I had literally all of my classes today besides one, I was like, okay, it's time to get my shit together. But that means I need to like really go in on putting all dates in my beautiful calendar. I'm totally a paper planner person. You guys know day designer is where it's at. I don't know why, but one of my favorite parts about the first week of school is literally just like putting the dates in your calendar and getting organized. I'm also totally that person that has their planner color coded. You know, you just kind of like find the joy in the little things. I'm gonna mark up also like important dates if there's like a midterm test exam. I'm in the College of Health and Human Development and my major is Human Development and Family Studies. It's basically a health science study of like social science yeah i have absolutely loved my major so much a little apartment decor update because <laughs> we put up led lights which i didn't think we would ever do but we did it so we basically put it around the perimeter of the kitchen and it looks so good i'm so happy with how it turned out Good morning guys, it is now the third day of classes. It's Wednesday morning. Um, I have one class Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and it's late in the day, which is like literally awesome. My day to get my life together and just like refresh myself after five classes on the other days. So I went to bed kind of early last night, like before midnight, and I slept in until 9.30, 10, which was actually amazing and I definitely needed that. I literally never wear my hair natural like no heat no nothing but my hair is getting so so long and i put in a hair clip and it looks so good it is now 26 days and so many hours until my 21st birthday still have it at 27 because i'm just like rounding it up to whole days at this point but oh my gosh we're so close all right we're gonna pack my bag i'm gonna bring my laptop notebook it's also wednesday which is when pretty much all my favorite podcasts release a new episode so I'm listening to Gals in the Go right now and I have a few more to catch up on, but Wednesdays is a big podcast day. Call her daddy releases today.
I just got back from my adventure. I ended up going to the bookstore earlier this morning and it was, it was an hour adventure. Oh God, just currently going on a little bit of a cleaning rampage. We're having friends over tonight, so, um, and I don't, I think we've had like a few people over here, but we haven't had like the whole group here yet. So we're, we're getting it ready. That area looks good, but I feel like we need something here. Maybe like a tan photo collage situation. I don't know, I feel like it just needs something, but we're having people over tonight. That's the story. So we're cleaning a little, getting it looking good for the guests of the night. We ended up doing a digital download from Etsy because they had very cute prints and it was so easy to download it from like a small business. We got some little recipe things and I figured I'd make a photo wall thing kind of like this maybe kind of like you know um i have some frames that i'm going to try to put these in and then with these i'm thinking kind of put it not i'm not going to put it in those but like that's the look that i'm going to go for thinking putting it here because this wall is very blank and i feel like it would make the kitchen very cute and girly um we're currently walking through east which is where all the freshmen live if anyone wants to like sabotage us so we don't have to graduate this year that'd be awesome this used to be the home grounds because it is actually like eight something in the morning i have a early lab this morning which is not going to be fun guys i am so tired but not in like a sleep tired way i'm tired in like a social battery is actually dead kind of way i feel like i'm not the only one that goes through this but my social battery runs out very easily and we've been hanging out with friends for the past couple of nights like two nights in a row like that's it and when i'm in like a big group of people my social battery is drained because i'm a total introvert as much as i wanted to go to starbucks and get another pumpkin sweet cream cold brew whatever it's called you know i made my coffee at home this is the current coffee recipe because um every store is absolutely wiped of coffee right now but i really like lock loam and i don't mind that creamer um, i feel like i get like seven coffees out of this bottle which is awesome and then i'm using a sweet cream creamer i've been completely like off of the milk Game and I've been drinking oat milk for quite a few months so this is not really agreeing with my stomach too much because it is like milk and cream it's very heavy I quite literally took a two hour nap after class and I read, I did a little school work. I just relaxed. I also watched a lot of TikTok and it was just so needed. I feel like my social battery was drained and I was so tired. And I feel like I'm starting to lose my voice from like being social this week. Going to lunch with Shelby, we're going to El Jefe's, which is like a new Mexican style, Chipotle style restaurant that opened up in State College and it's so good. This is the book that I was reading last night. I do not remember for the life of me if I've already like talked about this, but it's The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Taylor Jenkins Reid, amazing. This author, wow, I need to read more of her books. Um, I have a little bit more left. I probably have like 80 pages left i don't know but it's so so good it's kind of like a hollywood period piece kind of thing it flashes back to this woman's life over the past however many years through like the 60s 70s whatever when she was super famous in hollywood and then it like comes back to present day wow amazing i just went to starbucks with shelby we got lunch um and i got a honey citrus mint tea um, and the guy was like, I'm so sorry, but we're out of lemonade because they were out of like absolutely everything today. They've been so busy all week. So I decided to go and get my own lemonade to add to the tea, which I probably should have just gotten another drink, but I've been actually craving this tea for so long. This tea is the best, like if you're feeling like a little bit under the weather, but also if you're just feeling like hungover if you're feeling tired if you're just not i don't know it's such a refreshing tea it's also just very relaxing to me my throat is feeling so raw 
from talking all week. I'm going to plop myself down at my desk to get some work done now. It is, what time is it? It's now three o'clock. Um, I ended up adding that lemonade to the drink and it came out so good. It's so much better. This is like called the medicine ball tea. Like I said, honey citrus mint tea. So, so good. I have a few things that I want to get done today just because I have a little rule going this semester that I did last semester and it ended up working out well, which is no homework Sundays. We had Jeffrey come back last night. Hi, Jeff, Jeff. Oh, it is so nice to have a fluffy friend back in the apartment. Yes, it is. <laughs> 